on this weird thing, I think this is a good distance. Right. On the dredger, we might want to be a little bit closer. Probably would have been clever to wash the fenders before we left. Oh, we'll, we'll do it with seawater in the brush. Oh, awesome. We're moving pretty well right now, going about 2.6 knots, not as fast as we'd like to be going. We're hoping to get a little bit more wind, a little bit more offshore, and show up sometime during the day tomorrow to Isla Isabel. We had such a good time in Mazatlan and it was incredibly hard to say goodbye even though we think we're going to come back sometime later this year or definitely next year but as soon as we got on the water it was just the joy of sailing all over again. It's kind of funny these are the first miles we're making that we're expecting to have to make again this year. Oh yeah, that's true. We've got a chafing issue with the mainsail, so we're not able to let the main out as far as we would like to before it starts chafing on the rigging, which puts us in the awkward position where we have to jibe way more frequently than we would like to. Maybe needing to rig a preventer at some point, but right now it's just not necessary with how calm the sea state is and uh, we don't want to have to switch which side the preventer's on uh, a bunch of times. It's not I'm on our course. Black and white ahead of the water over there. How was the night? Dark. There he is! Yeah. We're just not going very fast. Turtle! Oh, many turtles today! We just crossed over a time zone, so now we are two hours ahead of California. Kind of funny, we're gonna have a discrepancy by an hour in the log because of that. Just found that sitting on the deck. Don't really know why. Time to investigate. It's from the gooseneck. Mm-hmm. You see that little door where the cars come out. You see, because this car is almost out. You see that? That's where it goes. So just lifted it up high enough again to get that back into place. We might want to replace the tape. Yeah.
more and more birds have been checking us out the closer we get to the island. I don't blame them. We're gonna be uh, living close to them for a day or two, so might as well meet the neighbors. Wow, this looks like a wild place to anchor. I'm feeling slightly more like go check out the other one. When we first got here, we weren't sure if we were going to anchor here where there's a sandy patch beneath us or over in the south cove where it's much rockier. We swung past here first, went into the south cove, actually even got the hook down. We were not happy with how close we were to a reef or how rocky the holding was. So before our anchor got caught, we went ahead and decided to pull back up, came back here, and we got anchored. Here we go. 